December 13th of 2013, and we are taking a look at the instruments we've installed at the Perry Center Fish Hatchery, the Salmon Hatchery at the Bellingham Technical College. We have a touch screen HMI, the Automation Direct Seymour model. And we've got a screen table we can turn on and off. We have an overview of the hatchery. We've got the main building and the various ponds here. Right now, all of these displays are showing zero because we don't have those instruments installed yet. They will be wireless heart instruments we'll install later on this spring, in the spring of 2014. But we can zoom into details, the different uh, places in the lab here. For example, the wet lab, which we're about to step into, we have some troughs full of water uh, that are uh, keeping these egg trays wet. And in the egg trays, we are monitoring the temperature of the water in two different places. We're monitoring the pH and also the flow rate. Uh, we eventually hope to measure the dissolved oxygen, the turbidity, and the conductivity of the water as well. You'll notice the pH measurements, 8.96, 7.54, and 10.28 are wildly variant, and it all should be the same because it's the same water source. Those pH probes are a bad batch. I bought a bad batch of probes off eBay, and they're reading way off, so they, they're not to be trusted for now. But the flow rates are pretty uh, close, and the uh, temperatures are pretty close as well. So we'll take a look out there at how this works, and I'll go back to the overview screen, and we'll take a walk into the wet lab. We'll see that for a moment. Oh. So we're looking at one of the water troughs here in the egg tray assemblies. That aluminum water trough is fed water from the north end that uh, flows down the trough and then flows out of the trough through its nozzles. So we have the ability in our um, instrumentation here to measure the height of water in that trough, and then based on the height of water and how far it is above the outlet point for each nozzle, we can calculate the flow rate coming out based on Torricelli's theorem. And since gravity is the only motivating pressure pushing the water out, and we know the dimensions of the nozzles, we can calculate flow rate based on the number of nozzles in operation and the height of that water. You notice, for example, that nozzle right there is capped off. So we only have 11 nozzles on this particular tray operating. The five you see here, and six on the other side. So we can enter that number into our PLC and say it only has 11 nozzles running and it will proportionately calculate the flow based on that. If we open up that other nozzle, we're going to have more water flow coming out from the same amount of height. We can type in the number 12 on our HMI screen, the PLC will calculate the proportional water flow from that. Speaking of the PLC, it's located right here. It's an Al Bradley Micrologics 1100 with a pair of analog input cards. Each analog input card has four analog channels. So we're set up on each PLC here to measure eight inputs. You can see we have this PLC, then we have one at the end of each, and the other water trough. So that one here as well, and down there. So three PLCs in the field. They're all Ethernet ready, and they're talking to this single DIN rail mount Ethernet hub. And that goes over and talks to our HMI. So currently we have four devices on our Ethernet network, the HMI, and the three PLCs, and of course the hub itself which is passive. So four active devices and one passive. Inside this box you also see a pair of DIN rail mount temperature transmitters, Rose Mount 644s, and these are taking RTD signals from sensors in that trough to measure temperature. But why are we measuring it twice? Well, because we've installed this system not just for practical reasons, but also to have plenty of instruments for students to work on. So I want to have lots of temperature transmitters here just to have lots of temperature transmitters and lots of sensors. Not that we need two sensors in every water trough. We're also measuring pH. So over here we can see a pH transmitter measuring the pH of the water. As I mentioned before, the pH probes here are bad. It's a bad batch. This is wildly off the mark. So our pH is much closer to 7 than it is to 9. So that is not to be trusted at the moment. In addition to that, of course, we've got a flow measurement to point out earlier. So each trough here currently has four measured variables, two temperatures, one pH, and we have flow. We have the capacity to measure eight variables per trough. So as time goes on, we'll be installing other instruments, perhaps a redundant flow transmitter, uh, perhaps even more temperature. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, this is really a working lab for us. So over the next several years, we're going to continue to add instruments to it and continue to send students down here to get real world experience. So I want to highlight this for a couple reasons. For one, just to showcase what we've done here. The students are really proud of their work and I'm proud of them. Also to show what can be done in an educational institution 
if you have facilities like this where an instrument program can install working instruments and it can be used by other students and other faculty for other programs. So these instruments are not only handy for us, but they're also useful for all the fisheries students and the fisheries instructors. They'll have lots of data to work with to monitor the conditions of the water and stream. And of course, also, uh, not to forget the donors who have helped us out with this. We've had a number of donors who uh, donate equipment and time. The pH transmitters, for example, uh, Mr. Frank Spivak from Rosemount helped us out with getting some pH transmitters. I've had a number of uh, uh, tips from other people on what to do here. So we have had uh, help from the outside and we'll continue to have help, especially in springtime when we go to install our wireless heart instruments throughout the, hat the hatchery. So turn around here, we can see the view out there. Out there is the main external hatchery area where we have ponds where the fish are reared. We have a fish ladder where they come up in the fall. And we have lots of things to measure out there. Uh, Mr. Tom Mosier from Rosemount uh, generously authorized a huge donation of wireless heart instruments last year. We're going to be installing most of those instruments out here next spring, the spring of 2014. We're going to have instruments out there measuring temperature, measuring perhaps sunlight. We're going to try to build a fish counter. We're going to measure flow through the fish ladder. And all that data is going to come into this hatchery over wireless heart. In one of the areas of this room, we'll install the wireless heart gateway, plug that into our same Ethernet network, and have that integrated with all the other measurements coming from our PLCs. So that's our eventual goal at the end of this academic year. That's a wrap.